And in slope point form, the equation of a line that passes through point P with coordinates x1, y1, and has a slope of m, is given to us by y subtract y1 equals m outside of x subtract x1, where x1, y1 are the coordinates of point P. So we're going to describe the graph of a linear function with this equation. We would have y, and y plus 1 can be written as subtract a negative 1. And I'm doing this because the equation has subtraction here in it. Equals, our slope is negative 1 half outside of x subtract 2. The point that it passes through, since it's x1, y1, the point that it passes through point P would be 2 and negative 1. So when we're going to graph this equation, and as you can see, when you're looking at the point, the form of it in the equation is actually opposite to what the point is. This says subtract 2, so the x-coordinate is a positive 2. This is plus 1, so the y-coordinate is a negative 1. The first thing we're going to do when we're going to graph a line in point or slope point form, rather, we are going to plot the point first. So we have 2 and negative 1. Here's point P. And then we'll plot the other points using the slope. The slope is negative 1 half, so we go down 1, 4, 2. Down 1, 4, 2. Down 1, 4, 2. And here's the slope. So if we're going to look at a line on a grid and determine the equation in slope point form, the first thing we need to do is find the slope. And the slope of the line we have here, let's choose some points that are on the line. And the slope here is down 2, 4, 1. So we have our raw is negative 2 and our run is 1, which gives us a slope of negative 2. All we have to do now to put the equation in slope point form, it tells us what, what the equation needs, is we need to find a point. So if I pick 3 and negative 4, 3 and negative 4. When we put it in point slope form of the equation, we're going to have y is going to be plus 4 is equal to negative 2 x subtract 3. The equation will look different if you picked a different point. So your friend might have picked the point 2 and 2. So therefore the point 2 and negative 2, you have y plus 2 is equal to negative 2 for the slope, x subtract 2. You see how this is positive 2, it ends up being subtract 2 in the equation for point slope, slope point form. And it's negative 2 and it's plus 2 here. If you're looking at, it says, uh, the next example says, you're, you need an equation of a line that's parallel to this one and passes through this point. If it's parallel, then it would have the same slope, so our slope is going to be negative 1. And it passes through the point negative 2 and 5. So we have y subtract 5, since it's positive 5 right here, is equal to negative sort of x. This, since it's negative 2 here, it would be plus 2 in the equation. So be very careful when you're putting the point in slope point form. It goes opposite. The points actually go opposite. 